lovers and brewing fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sienna and this is Curves on the Road. It was inevitable. I live in the Czech Republic, so a video about beer was kind of inevitable. I know nothing about beer. I don't drink it. I don't like the taste. So I can't do this on my own. So I invited Rodrigo and he will help me with the whole process. Because today, what are we doing today? Cook beer. Yes, we will be cooking beer from scratch. Well, technically we just bought the packaging and we will just mix some ingredients together, but it might be fun. Watch us. So I will be reading the instructions and Rodrigo will be assembling the whole thing. Let's get into it. I have uh, the beer kit manual and it says vamos, uh, yeah, maybe not, English. Brew your own beer. Prepare your beer in just 10 minutes. Remove the transparent lid from the top of the keg. And put it aside. We will need it later. Step one, done. Fill your keg with the malt extract. Does it smell somehow? I thought it was supposed to be like sugary, right? Yes, it's a familiar smelling, like... Uh, as we product of sugarcane. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't smell nice. It, it smells I, I'm like expecting hapadura. more of a sugar in it. It, it smells like hapadura. No, it doesn't. Hapadura smells like caramel. This one... Mm -hmm. This one doesn't do it for me. I don't know why. How does it taste? Sugar cane. Really? Can, can I? Yes. Won't we ruin it all? Quite similar to Hapa Duda. Mmm. Um, no? I don't know. It has like some aftertaste. Ah, uh, yes. Like potatoes. Like if you like sugar, sugar, sugar and then potatoes. That's, that's not... How about I hold it and you squish it? Yes. Let's do that. I'll hold it here and you squish the top. Yeah, teamwork. <laughs> teamwork, guys. That's how it's done. It's so perfect just to stand here and look pretty <laughs> and somebody else does the work. Fill 400 milliliters of cold water into the keg. I'll be useful. And then an explosion. <laughs> uh, and now we'll boil one liter of water. One liter. Uh, reseal okay. the keg with the transparent lid, ensuring that it is correctly sealed. Then shake the keg for about 30 seconds, making sure you are pressing down on the lid while shaking. The keg will be hot. It's, very, uh, it's the best to use oven mitts or towel whilst holding it. Hold on. Oven mitts. There you go. Very good. How does it feel? <laughs> I feel good because I know I'm It's good. gonna be beer. <laughs> Repeat to <laughs> yourself, it's gonna be beer. <laughs> you will know that the wort has dissolved when the bottom of the keg is warm. Is it warm? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's dissolved. I think it's What is the next step? Uh, we will fill the keg up with cold water using the measuring jack again, so... Uh, we will need 2.8 liters of cold water in the keg. 2.8. Yeah. It says there might be like foam coming out of it. So we would have to let it settle if there is like foam. Yeah, look, I can see the foam. 
Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like beer and there's no beer yet. Ah. I didn't know malt makes so much foam. Now the smell gets like brewery smell. You remember when you go around Mendelovo sometimes and you smell this. This is what you smell in Mendelovo, totally. Mm -hmm. Add the yeast. Yes. And the hops. I wonder what it's gonna do. Is it doing something? It's still sitting on the phone. Oops. Hops, hops, hops. We say hops here. Yes. Close your keg with the included pressure control valve. Okay, it floats apparently. How? Yes. Ah. The pressure control valve regulates the atmosphere within the keg, allowing natural carbon dioxide to be released when too much pressure builds up. Congratulations! Sit back, relax, and think of how great your beer will taste. Uh, yeah, leave the keg in stationary position for five days, try not to move the keg at all. Do not move on to the next step until a minimum of five days you can't rush the fermentation. So guys, see you in five days. Several days later. Here we go. <laughs> it's made. Normally you're supposed to wait five days. We gave it seven, so two days extra for some extra flavor. And we hope it's gonna be good. We'll taste it in a second, but not to make it so easy. Rodrigo is an expert on beer, <laughs> so we'll make a little taste test for him. We'll take seven kinds of beer. Is it seven? Five. Five kinds of beer. Four and this one. Four and this one. We'll take five kinds of beer and he'll try to guess which one he made. <laughs> uh, there is some instruction here. I don't know if it's when we, uh, for the first time or now. Oh. Before tapping your beer, that, that would be now. Push the red pin to the side to allow the excess gas to escape. Huh, so it's now. Carefully lift the red peg on the pressure valve mm -hmm. on top of the keg to release the excess pressure. Ew! Oh my god! Okay. Okay, it's definitely doing something. Mm -hmm. Make sure your beer tastes as good as it can. Keep it in the fridge and drink it within a few days after opening. Warm and stale beer is good for no one. Yeah. Good. Oh, look at that! There's beer! Oh my god, there's beer! There's beer! There's beer! No kidding! Wow! Uh, there's foam. There's foam. Yes. There's definitely foam. Okay, so this is our beer. So this is the beer we made. And now let's see if Rodrigo can tell it among other brands. So guys, here we go. Taste test is ready. I'll drink first the homemade beer just to know the taste. Surprising, it's a good beer. 
Really? You're just saying it for the cameras. No, no, no. I'll turn off the cameras and now you can turn the video on as real. It's not too bad. It's, it's not. Okay, that's more honest. I, I wouldn't say it's a commercial beer, but it's a uh, it's beer. <laughs> Good. Okay, but that's more than we're gonna ask from like a couple of boxes of yeast and all. <laughs> so, how would you rate it? Like, you have your rating. It's like five stars normally, right? So, or five points in on the beer app. So, how many points would you give it? Guys, if you didn't know, there's a beer app, like it's called Untapped. Untapped. And you can basically, when you go to a restaurant or you have a new beer, you can like put it in the app and like you can track how many kinds of beers you have tasted and which ones you like the best. Uh, 2.753. All right, okay, so <laughs> nothing special. No. All right, got it. <laughs> This is easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this bad boy is non alcoholic, so this one's like a wild card so that you know if it if the our beer tastes like non alcoholic there is there might be some fundamental problem. West Coast Ipa. Yeah. I can tell this one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh. Urquell. This is the most typical Czech beer. Most favorite and sold worldwide. Paulana. <clears throat> and one of the crafts beer from Oktoberfest. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel and I'll take you to the Oktoberfest this September. Hold on, I'll try that, right? I'll taste this one. It smells weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's ugly. <laughs> <Duh. clears throat> Let's see this. I might go. Yeah, this has to be no alcohol. Like, there's nothing in this one. What's this thing? Yeah, this one, no doubt. Ipa. That's fruity. This one's good. This one's sweet. Urquell. <laughs> Urquell. <laughs> it's crazy that the Oktoberfest beer and the non-alcoholic are similar. similar. So that's all we had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you give us a beer thumb up? And you can subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day and bye!